So now using the concepts what we have learned using these animation transitions and all those things, we will try to do the dialog box. Okay, the concepts what we have learned up to now. So here I am trying to remove this one all. So this one all I am removing it. So now in the components, I will create a new file that is nothing but dialog model dot view. So this is a separate component I am creating. So here you will be having a template. So this is a tube. And here I can have a backdrop. Class is equal to backdrop. Backdrop means back you will be able to get slightly black color, right? So that is the backdrop. I am trying to apply it. And here I can have a dialog. Dialog means the data dialog. So this is the dialog I am trying to do. So do so dialog box or something like this. So this is the basic dialog. And here let's try to import this dialog box. Import dialog model from components i think components one right components components slash dialog model dot view so this dialog model i will try to implement in this one for dialog model i have imported this component so in this one i am trying to import this dialog model so that's it so now let's see the output what will happen nothing is there yeah so this dialog box so this is the dialog box which i have written in the code right so this is the dialog box i am able to see this one so let's apply the css for this one so here i will be having style scope okay for the backdrop for the backdrop for the backdrop so it should be position should be fixed and it should be top 0 pixel and the left side it should be 0 pixel and right side it should be 0 pixel and the bottom should be 0 pixel so that means it will cover entire area and the background color will apply background color rgba of 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 or something like this let's see output what will happen so we are able to see some backdrop here so this dialog box we need to make it so dialog box is nothing but dot dialog okay so this dot dialog background color we will make it as a white white okay i don't want to take so much of risk here we will have a width of something like 60 view port width we will have and uh, the position will be fixed and here mm, the height will be something around 20 viewport height or something like this so top it should be something around 20 viewport height or something like this mm, that's it right so width and height and left also we need to have left also we can have 20 viewport width maybe it could be something around center see this is the dialog box we are able to see it so we can have some padding in between this one so padding of 20 pixel or something like this that's it so something this is a dialog box which we are trying to show you so now we are trying to show it in the starting only but i don't want to show it in the starting so if you want you can also apply z index if you are come if you are it is getting backward means so you can apply z index of 10 or something like this so a few people not able to see it for me i'm able to see it so that's it so now let's go into this one so here i will add a button why because i don't want to show you the dialog box immediately so here i can add come something like class is equal to my iphone 3 button so class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary show dialog okay show dialog or something show model or show pop-up or anything so now here i can have show dialog or something like this so first time it will be false so here i can do something like at the rate click dot prevent is equal to on show dialog so you can have a method something like this on show dialog so on show dialog in the methods we can write it on show dialog so i can have here this dot 
what is the text what is that i have kept yeah so this is show dialog all show dialog show dialog okay, i am confusing so we are making it as true so on show dialog we are making it as true now this one when it should appear vi if and if vi if and if show dialog is there so when the show dialog is there then only we need to show it right so i think we have did it so now we are having a show dialog if i click here i am able to see this one so now i want I, I need to have somewhat provision to close this one so when i click on this close button or okay button or anything so it's the dialog should be closed okay fine so i will try to make it as simple so what i will try to do is in between this one i will do something like do um, <coughs> dialog box i will write my name why because i am designing this one <laughs> so do i can have button close something like this i we can also have a, a class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary and class is equal to my 3 these are all concepts we have learned it so you should be able to understand it so now if i try to see the output so now we are not able to see any output so what i need to do so this all content it needs to go uh, inside here so what i can do here here i can add a slot so i can add a slot so here what i will try to do when this button is there so here at the rate click dot prevent prevent show dialog i will make it as false that's it right so the unshow dialog is nothing but this method making it as true so here i am trying to make it as false if you want you can create a separate method it's not a problem just i am trying to show it so now here this is our dialog box i clicked here i closed it here see so dialog box we are able to show it but what we need to do so we are able to create a basic dialog box but what i want to do is i want to create an animation for this one so it needs to come from top like this from top it needs to slide down so like this so whatever the animation you want you can do it so first what i want to do is i want to make it slide down so from top to bottom it needs to fall so and again while going away it needs to go top so like this we need to do the animation so for this if you want to do the animation what is the thing you want to do it i want to wrap it here transition so this is the thing right we know the transition whichever you want to apply the transition we need to apply a transition so dialog model here we can apply a transition transition we are trying to apply it so let's go on to this one let's remove these all the animations so here transition we have applied so dot v hyphen enter hyphen from so when the uh, trans, when the dialog is opening so v hyphen enter hyphen to and another one is dot v hyphen enter hyphen active sorry active so we will be having this one all so now what i want to do here dialog but dialog model for this one transition we are applying it right so now from coming so what needs to do so uh, transform translate x sorry translate y this time from top to bottom right minus 400 pixel let's try to keep it from minus 400 pixel or somewhat it is coming you can also add a viewport view height and all those things also not a problem and it needs to come to zero pixel so this is the thing which i want to do it and we have an enter and active so the transition has to do it transition all it should complete in one second so we'll keep it as standard once one second it should be completed fine let's try to see it it's coming fine but see what is happening here some weird it is going so it's coming fine but some weird thing is happening so why it is happening here that the back backdrop layout is not coming because of that one so we are not able to see that white color and afterwards this backdrop layer is coming what why is this one happening is so here we are applying this dialog model okay so we are trying to do this transition so we are trying to do this transition and this button in this all the things that transition is happening and afterwards so this one will be loaded the dialog model component will be loaded immediately what it is happening here all so this one is all it is coming the backdrop and all those things are appearing immediately so instead of that one what we need to do instead of applying this transition here 
we need to apply the transition not here inside the dialog model we need to apply okay let's go into this one so which one we need to have a transition so this is the thing transition open the transition and close the transition okay open the transition close the transition which one you want to apply so we need to do that one okay let's go into this one so copy this all the styles so these are not related to here why because those are in the scope or thing so we will write it here so v hyphen enter hyphen from v hyphen enter hyphen to act to like this so now let's see what will be the output let's see uh, now also it will not work so now immediately these are coming so not, nothing is happening transition is not happening why because i already told you the transition will be applied only for the conditional rendering of the element so that means if it has a vif and if and all those things only this transitions will be applied or otherwise this transition will not be applied so then what we need to do so for this dialog model somehow we need to send this show dialog as a props so here open is equal to show dialog i will send it as show dialog this one so now here open so this one we need to capture it as props so like this slowly we need to improve it so script we will be having this one all so export default we need to have props so i am keeping it as directly so open so now here we can write a condition in such a way that v if and if is equal to open okay so now let's see what will happen so now here so now here we are able to see the dialog box is appearing uh, automatically so this v if any physical open so what i can do so for this one also i will try to apply this v if any physical open so that no nobody will see now here let's see what will happen if i click here see now i am able to see the transition okay now i am able to see the transition very easily so now it is coming nicely but for close also we need to apply it okay for close also we'll apply it so this one enter hyphen frame is there right so we can apply something like dot v hyphen leave hyphen 2 for this one and here also i can apply something like dot v hyphen leave hyphen from oh sorry leave hyphen from and this one is dot v hyphen leave hyphen active okay so this is the now if you try to see the output so now we have some weird issue also i will try to show you so it's coming close it is going away see now what we are having that the backdrop which is having that doesn't have any transition it is immediately going away and it is immediately coming so we need to apply that transition for the backdrop also so what we need to do here so apply this transition for this one also so transition apply this one for this one also now for this transition when you are trying to apply it so for this backdrop also you will be having v if and enter v if and leave like this right so v is the default thing so here v means you can also apply the name for this one for this one what i can do is name is equal to i can apply something like backdrop okay so now for this backdrop i can do the transition so here i can add something like dot backdrop hyphen enter hyphen from so like this so instead of v so whatever the name you have given backdrop hyphen enter hyphen from it will have so now here this is called as a name transition so these are called as a name transition why because for this transition we are applying name if you apply for this one also name dialog means here instead of having v if and enter if and from you can apply dialog if and enter if and from so that is a that is a thing so dialog if and enter if and from when it is entering so opacity should be zero okay and it should be uh, when di backdrop if and enter if and two so now it should be opacity should be one and here i can apply something like backdrop hyphen enter hyphen active i can apply transition all one second so why because for this one is also one second is there so it should be like this so now for leaving also uh, for, let's try to see for the everything so now when i when i click on this one when i click here not happening why it's not happening and drive one two these all things we have applied it and transition name is equal to backdrop so we haven't applied the backdrop or what backdrop we have applied it opacity zero to one transition okay sorry here i even you need to keep it yeah so now let's try to see the same thing so the opacity it needs to apply 
smoothly see smoothly it has been applied now when i close here immediately going away right it, it should also go smoothly so then what i need to do here dot backdrop hyphen leave leave hyphen two and here what i can do dot backdrop hyphen leave hyphen from and this one is dot backdrop hyphen leave hyphen active so i can do it like this leave enter hyphen from leave will enter hyphen to leave hyphen like this so reverse reverse we need to do it if you want you can write it separately also those all things now when i click here slowly the backdrop will come and this one will come when i close here slowly that one is also going away see so if you want you can also increase the speed not, not a problem so like this we can do it okay so this is how we can design the back so not only why so you can you can do it from the x-axis also or otherwise you can scale it so scale also you can do it skew it skew it means it will distort the shape so these are all things you can play around and you can check it these are all things so how you want to display this uh, what i can say the dialog box you can do it so like this we can do it i have showed you one version this is how we will be doing the dialogue model to animation of the dialogue model so this is a basic thing i have shown you so like this we can do all the animations if you want to do it in the ujs so this is how we will be doing so show dialogue means it will come like this close means it will go away so this is how we will be doing these animations